Hi, my name is John Gottman, and I'm talking about a paper that was just accepted to the Journal of Marital and Family Therapy <clears throat> that I co-authored with Amber Tabaris. And we're reporting the results of an experiment that we did in which we briefly interrupted marital conflict. So we had couples talk for 15 minutes. Then they were randomly assigned to one group where they spent 20 minutes selecting positive adjectives that describe their partner and giving an example of where their partner had actually displayed that positive trait. In another group, they were given a checklist called the Areas Concern Checklist, where they were selecting negative traits of their partner and giving an example of how their partner had displayed that negative trait. And in a control group, they read magazines for 20 minutes. So we were interested in seeing how this experiment would affect the next conversation they had immediately following this brief intervention when they resumed talking about the marital conflict. And what we discovered <clears throat> was that the way couples construed the intervention, the way they thought of the intervention, determined the effects of the intervention on the second conflict discussion. Some of the people actually used the positive adjective checklist as a way to complement their partner, but some of them actually didn't follow the directions and used the positive adjective checklist as a way to criticize their partner, saying things like, you don't have any positive traits, so I picked three I'd like you to work on. In, in the same way in the negative adjective condition, some people followed the instructions, but some people actually construed the negative adjective ch checklist as a way to compliment their partner and say, you don't have any of these traits. And the partner might respond by saying, well, you know, I'm not perfect, so I'd like to know um, what your concerns are. And then they'd have this very constructive conversation. When we coded the way in which people use these interventions, their construal styles, we called it, it had a huge effect on the second conversation. People who enhanced this fondness and admiration system really boosted it up. The next conversation was far more positive. People who used the interventions to decrease the fondness and admiration system, their next conversation was far less positive. People who read magazines for 20 minutes had a much more positive conversation as well because their heart rates lowered as they read the magazines and that had a powerful effect on the next conversation. The other thing we discovered was that we could predict the construal style from the way in which couples talked in the first conversation. So if they use criticism, defensiveness, contempt, stonewalling, if they use the four horsemen of the apocalypse, if they had a very negative um, affective interaction in the first conversation and low marital satisfaction, they would invariably use the intervention, construe it as a way to criticize their partner, put their partner down. If they didn't have those um, kinds of negative affect discussions in conversation number one, and if they were higher in marital satisfaction, they would use either of these interventions as a way to increase the fondness and admiration system, and that had a very positive effect on the next conversation. That's basically what we discovered.